you know, do you think we could have something like a private island? I don't want to go too far, but like a Jurassic Park kind of thing where we've created things that they're, you know, they're recreations, but you could at least see how it might behave in the environment. And, you know, the people have seen the movies, right? Oh, so, of course. So we see where the, where the one guy goes crazy, goes, let's do it with humans. That's or right. something yeah. like that. And yeah. you're like, all right. Put them on an island. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we got right. to chill a little bit here. But maybe in our lifetime, I, I don't know if, if this is the case or if this is what you think, but within our lifetime, you know, do you think we could have something like a private island? I don't want to go too far, but like a Jurassic Park kind of thing where we've created things that they're you know they're recreations but you could at least see how it might behave in the environment i think it's awesome the little kid in me if you could tell me i could go to pleistocene park and see woolly mammoths and giant bison and all these ice age animals or you know go to jurassic park of course i want to see yeah. that do i know if that's what they're going to do or if that's a good thing for the environment or anything else no, probably not, <laughs> you know, but the little kid in me goes, I can go to this, these places and see these things. Yeah. Like, it would be insane to see. Yeah. I don't think the technology is there yet. No, Maybe it's it will not. be. It's not. And I, I'm sure Matt and Ben explained that to you. Yeah. But I don't think we can make T-Rexes and Titanoboas, you know? I don't yeah. think the DNA is too fragmented, blah, 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 blah. And I just don't think that that's what Colossal stands for. Mm -hmm. I think it stands for trying to put a Band-Aid on the problem and, and right humanity's wrongs. Yeah, and yeah. and and I hope that's what they continue to do because yeah. that that was really that was the bulk of our conversation was, I would say a, a piece of it. This was episode two ninety seven for people who didn't see it, but there was a piece of it that was, you know, certainly discussing like the scientific implications. Like, can you actually recreate this? What does it mean if you recreate it? What does a clone look like? Some of the stuff you and I just talked about, but a lot of it had to do with what it can how the science can be used on current species like we obviously talked a lot about the middle of the sixth extinction we're yeah. in the numbers by the way it's crazy of huh? like animals that the are rate. being declared extinct right yeah. now it's like north of 50 percent isn't it terrible it's yeah it's fucking insane man it's crazy and, so and that's why somebody's do and i what i think so great about colossal is like there's this idea, I don't mean to interrupt you, but like- No, there, no, not there, at all. There's been this idea that like, if you're a biologist, if you dedicate yourself to conservation, you have to be poor, you have to struggle, you have to give up everything to co dedicate your life to saving the planet. Well, if you become a doctor, you you know you're gonna be rich. Right. You know what I mean? Like if you're like, I'm gonna go to medical school and be a doctor, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna get rich and I'm gonna save people's lives. Yeah. Like Colossal to me, and this is like a weird perspective, but they're a for-profit company. Yes. They've come along and been like, we can save the planet and get rich doing it. And it's like, why is that a bad thing? Like, good for you. Yeah. You know, who cares? I'm not getting rich. Like, by me saying this, I'm not getting rich. I'm just an advisor. But like, good for you. Like, flip the conservation model on its head. Like, conservation is a battle that we've been losing since its inception. We lose more and more species every single year. The numbers are astounding, like you just pointed out. These guys are like, we're going to try something different. Yeah. We're going to break the mold. We're going to make money off of saving species like do some good for the world and and make a billion dollar company it's like great like why not try it cuz the other stuff's not working that was that was probably like one of the funnier moments where ben i think he was talking it was his first conversation with matt uh-huh when they were back talking about matt being an advisor and obviously then eventually coming on yeah but matt's whole life had been in conservation and right. specifically a, a lot of work with elephants and so his big thing talking with Ben was like, look, if you're going to do this, like I really, we need help in the conservation. Here's all the statistics with elephants. Here's the problems we're having. And Ben was just like, so how much would you need to really make a big dent in this? Yeah. And Matt goes, fuck it. $50 million would really do something. And Ben goes, you know. I'm a business guy. Yeah. I've built a lot of companies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a billionaire. He didn't yeah. say that, but he is. But he is, yeah. <laughs> I just looked at him. I said, oh. Well, that's not much. Yeah. <laughs> so you need 50. I'll just go get $50 million. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to a wildlife guy like me or Matt, you're like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, so we'll just go make that. Yeah. No problem. I'm like, I need you to come do that here right. too. How do you just yeah, like yeah. say, I'm going to go make $50 million. I Maybe I wouldn't have the studio in the master bedroom if yeah. that were the case. <laughs> Dude, it's so crazy. Yeah, the, the world is changing. That dynamic is changing and it's it's... Yeah, the fact that you can fix the elephant problem, elephant problem for fifty million dollars, 
And to some guys, that's their boat that they see twice a year. You know, it's like, and I love that, look, Ben, who's, I think is a really interesting guy, is just like, yeah, okay, let's do that. You know, it's like, fuck yeah, let's do that. Like, why not, man? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, he also, Ben hooked me up with Ken Lacavara. Yeah, to Ken's come in cool. Here. He lives here. No, J- Jersey, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what's crazy is I was telling you the first three and a half years I did this, I was in my parents' house mm-hmm. in South Jersey, which yeah. is where I'm from. Yeah. Had no idea the, this was in my backyard, what he's doing. The bone hub of the whole world. Yeah. In Mantua fucking New Jersey. Underneath a Home Depot. Under Literally underneath a Home Depot. Like the most insane thing ever, but... I love that podcast we recorded. It's coming out really soon at nice. the time of us recording this. Nice. The 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 dinosaur thing is just like the the little kid in me loves that because it's just like the coolest thing ever. But how much time have you spent, you know, like trying to find dinosaurs or you <laughs> no. know, obviously they're gone, but the, they're trying gone. to unearth what they were. Uh I not a lot. I'm not an archaeologist. I haven't put or paleontologist. I haven't put a lot of time into digging that stuff up. I I know Ken from the Explorers Club. Yeah, and I think Ken is awesome. He's such He's a cool so guy. Cool. And have you been to his place yet? We're gonna do it because my parents still live down there. So yeah. we're gonna do like Text a private me. tour. And I'll all that. I'll swing over because he's right. invited me too. He's like, come all over. Right, we yeah. Do that. Now now that's gonna be a crew now, dude. I'm down. Do yeah, because I think what Ken's doing is so cool. But no, I mean, you know, there's some like crazy. Like I've spoken to Joe Joe Rogan about stuff like this. Like, you know, these Mokola Membe, which is like this dinosaur of the Congo, and there's like these rumors and things that float around out there. Mm. I've put no effort into looking for living dinosaurs. Mm. I've done some diving in the black waters of Florida to pull up fossils and shark teeth and stuff like that, but there are dinosaurs among us, you know? And this sounds cliche, but like Birds. chickens, chickens are basically yeah. T-Rexes, you know? Like mm-hmm. crocodiles have been around as long as dinosaurs. Sharks have been on this planet since before trees were here. You know, like I find those things yeah. fascinating enough. And my interest really is in being hands-on with living stuff. So yeah. dinosaurs for me, my son absolutely loves them and I'm now getting into them again with him. But like, I like the tangible stuff. Like yeah. the, I want to, I want to hold the tortoise. You know, not just look at the bones. I feel you there. Yeah. What was the What was the story with the dinosaur in the Congo? The I think it's called. Dinosaur? I think it's called. You could look it up if you yeah. want. Mo, Mokola Membe or something like that. And it's this. Good luck with your spelling there. Um, it's it's this rumor. I almost got it. Did 100% you? Hundred percent right. Nice, on this dude. One letter. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. So what does it say here? A legendary creature reported to inhabit the Congo River basin, described as a large sauropod-like dinosaur. The so, name. Oh, I think you know what Ken talked about this with me. Oh, did now he? Co- yeah. What did he say? What was me. his thought? Can't remember, dude. We went through fucking a thousand dinosaurs. That was one of the coolest podcasts ever. And that's the problem I is Ken. Remember. Ken talks to you about dinosaurs probably the same way I do about animals. Like yeah. everybody knows a thousand dinosaurs, and I can name like six. But um, yeah, allegedly in the Congo, I think he's found like six himself. Oh, I know it's <laughs> yeah. crazy, including the largest one in existence. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so this Mokola Membe is this rumored to be extant dinosaur living in the Congo, and it's rumored because it's it's been reported by like hundreds and hundreds of people. Like they've all seen it, you know, allegedly. Like still living. Yeah. Allegedly, I mean, I don't. don't. <laughs> Can you imagine you're just walking through the jungle and this fucking thing walks up? I, no, not really. I'd lose my shit. Like I'm if I like, got that excited about a tortoise, imagine if I saw this thing. <laughs> we're in the simulation. If that's happening, dude, seriously, there's a glitch. Yeah, he was telling me a lot about like the lost dinosaurs of Egypt. Oh, like interesting. more shit in Egypt. What else happened? Right. There? Well, you yeah. know what I mean. The, yeah, totally. But he's been all over. It's just, it's so cool. I'm coming around on Egypt just being a complete alien experiment place, bro. <laughs> you know, you are not crazy to think that at all. It's just everything there that comes out. You're just like, oh, now there's pillars going down yeah. ten thousand feet into wells, and you're like, wait, what? It's, it's like, <laughs> it's yeah, so it's crazy. in the core of the earth. Like, what else is there? Yeah, I don't <laughs> totally. Know, man. It's and so and crazy. all these guys, you know, who study it inside now, they got all these different theories and stuff. I'm like, it all sounds great. Right. It, it just all, put it all together. Yeah, yeah. Just maybe there's some truth like in the middle of all of it. <laughs> totally. I'm a podcaster, bro. I'm yeah. Not <laughs> Thank you guys for checking out this clip. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the like button on this video. It is a huge, huge help. And if you'd like to check out this clip's full podcast episode, that link is in the description below or right here. And finally, you can follow me on Instagram and X by using the links in my description below.